In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We, we praise you, you, we bless you, you we adore you, you, we glorify you, we, you, we give, give you thanks for your great glory. glory. Lord, Lord God, God, heavenly, heavenly King, King, O God, God Almighty, Almighty Father, Father, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, only begotten, begotten Son, Son Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the, in the glory, glory of God, God the, the Father. Father. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whom the, ho the holy innocents confessed and proclaimed on this day, not by speaking, but by dying. Grant, we pray, that the faith in you which we confess with our lips may also speak through our manner of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message that we have heard from Jesus Christ and proclaimed to you. God is light, and in him there is no darkness at all. If we say we have fellowship with him while we continue to walk in darkness, we lie and do not act in truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, then we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of his son Jesus cleanses us from all sins. If we say we are without sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. If we acknowledge our sins, He is faithful and just, and will forgive our sins and cleanse us from every wrongdoing. If we say we have not sinned, we make Him a liar, and His word is not in us. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But 
if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us when men rose up against us, then would they have awaited us alive when their fury was in flame against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us. The torrent would have swept over us. Over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Please stand. praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. The white robe army of martyrs praise you. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. When the Magi had departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Rise, take the child and his mother, flee to Egypt, and stay there until I tell you. Herod is going to search for the child to destroy him. Joseph rose and took the child and his mother by night and departed for Egypt. He stayed there until the death of Herod, that what the Lord had said through the prophet might be fulfilled. Out of Egypt I called my son. When Herod realized that he had been deceived by the Magi, he became furious. He ordered the massacre of all the boys in, Jeru and in Bethlehem and its vicinity, two years old and under, in accordance with the time he had ascertained from the Magi. Then was fulfilled what had been said through Jeremiah the prophet, a voice was heard in Ramah, sobbing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children, and she would not be consoled since they were no more. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Noon pong mga seminarista pa po kami, 
isa po sa mga biroan namin. Whenever we would see our brothers now graduating or someone accomplishing a particular task, madalas po naming biroan o masabi ang expression na ito. Si kuya, si brother, si kapatid, may napatunayan na. He has proven himself. He has proved something to us. When someone is proving himself or herself, he or she asserts and makes himself big and decisive and right. There is nothing wrong when we wish to assert or prove ourselves. We really express what is inside of us and what we do intend to do for others, most especially. But you know, sometimes proving ourselves may lead to divisions and even to bad experiences of disconnection, of pain, and even hatred to each other. If we wish to describe Herod from what we have heard from our gospel today, tila ang taong ito may gustong patunayan. He wishes to prove himself. And he would like to tell us, akala nyo, yung batang isinilang gagalangin ko? That child born in Bethlehem, should you wish that I should respect him? No. But I am here to prove myself. I am here to say that I am mightier than him. I am much stronger than him. That is why I have my hands over him. Too much proving of ourselves may raise us to pride and even to making ourselves Lord above all others. But, what's, but what he seemed to be his thought came to be otherwise. He thought that by killing or murdering these innocent children will prove that I am king, that I am the Lord of everything. But little did he know that while he seemed to be proving himself, God outnumbered his pride by proving his mercy and love over these innocent children. Akala niya, napatunayan na niya ang kanyang sarili sa kanyang lakas ng pagpapapatay sa mga batang ito. Pero nagkakamali siya doon. Mas pinatunayan ng Diyos na may mas lakas siya kaysa sa, la sa lakas na mayroon si Herodes. Our church really intended to place the Feast of the Holy Innocents within this Christmas season. Not only to teach us about the martyrdom of these innocent children, but to make us aware how God is proving His greatness and love to all of us. Humanity may prove Himself by hating others, but God proves Himself by lifting others up. Wala tayong pinatutunayan kung mambabagsak at mangaapak tayo ng tao. Pero tulad ng Diyos, we also prove ourselves when we raise others and help others as well know the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, with the many Herod present around, let us choose to be like the simple child of Bethlehem, that although with nothing to say 
for these innocent children, He raised them up to heaven and proved them His mercy and love. This Christmas, when we take off what we need to prove, may we take off what we need to prove and give way how God can prove Himself by saving others and by loving us all the more. Please stand. Christ our Lord was born into a fallen world. The, cru the cruelty which claimed the lives of the holy innocents eventually brought him to the cross. Let us pray for this world, fallen yet redeemed by the sacrifice of innocent love. For every petition we shall say, through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That Christ, born as a Savior, may save those yet unborn. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood, the of, blood the martyrs, of the martyrs, hear, hear us, us, O Lord. Lord. That God, who is the source of life, may bring an end to abortion and to all other forms of violence in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. Through, Through the, the blood, blood of, of the, the martyrs, martyrs, hear us, us O Lord. Lord. That we may build a society of love and justice based on respect for its ad others and every human life. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That God, who sent His Son to save and not to condemn, may touch the hearts of all who have had abortions and bring them the gift of repentance and healing. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. That all children who have been lost by abortion may be received into the eternal dwelling prepared for them in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Through the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. In the silence of our hearts, we lift up to the Lord all the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for each other, for a loving and fruitful Christmas season, and our prayers for it, and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. For the blood of the martyrs, hear us, O Lord. Merciful and gentle Father, accept our prayers as we seek to understand the mystery of innocent blood. Help us to always to look always to your crucified and risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your devoted servants and purify us as we faithfully serve this, your mysteries by which you grant us justification even to those who lack understanding. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For through Him the whole exchange that restores our life has shone forth today in splendor. When our frailty is assumed by your word, not only does human mortality receive an ending honor, but by His wondrous union, we too are made eternal. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you and with joy we proclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Sana in the highest. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <laughs> Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world 
and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Coming together as God's family with confidence, let us call on God, our Father. Our Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is, is in heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver, but deliver us, us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. <laughs> Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
No. 